Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. I have so much to talk about. Uh, it is just the passing of the solstice. It is the 23rd uh, of September as I make this. Um, hope you prayed for peace. I should have made a video and uh, reminded you, but I hope you spent some time that day praying for peace because uh, we're awakening. Now, remember that I'm one of you. And uh, I, I'm just one of the ones that woke up a little early. And it's not awake. Ah, ah, ah. Ah is the negative. Amoral uh, is the opposite of moral. Uh, asexual. Sexual. Uh, awake. Wake. Uh, alive. Live. Now, we're alive. And we are living men and women. And uh, women is not woe unto men. It is a man with a womb. There are but two sexes. And then uh, physically. Uh, the universe is split in half, my friends. Um, and your job is to transcend that. But uh, we won't go there for a little bit. Let's just talk about the symbolism here. This is a tarot card. And it's all there. Um, he's seated. He. It's a male. Not a she. Uh, the crown has three points. Uh, there is usually a jewel here and a jewel here. Uh, notice the robe is not black, but usually uh, a bright color and usually red and green. Um, and the green is over the heart. Uh, the red shows uh, live, you know, being alive, uh, the blood. Um, let's see, the sword is pointed up. The scales are down. Obviously can see it's a man, not a woman. Um... What more do you need? There it is again. Okay, the tenth card. Uh, sword. And look at this sword has been obviously used quite a bit. Uh, red and green over the heart. Uh, three pointed crown. There are three of the points showing. Scales down. Sword up. Um, let's see here. We'll look at one more and then we'll go back up the other ones. There it is again. This is a very famous deck here. Uh, more androgynous, but uh, scales down, sword up, a three-pointed crown. Is it, can you see? Absolutely can see. Um, again, red and green uh, motif. Uh, seated, uh, presides over, right? That's justice. Oh, wait, now what are you going to get with justice? And then, well, let's see, we'll look at these other ones in just a second. But what are you going to get with justice? Well, with justice, you get fairness, justice, what all the stuff that you think that justice is. Uh, when you walk into a court of law. Fairness, justice, uh, cause and effect, balance, and equilibrium and responsibility. So understand the Masons, understand the secret societies, understand the uh, concept that uh, the whole thing is split in half. Black and white, dark and light, left and right, up and down, hot and cold. How long do I have to go on? You get it, right? Male and female, the, the whole thing is split in half. All right, so um, when they give you the opposite, when they, okay, so when you're playing with these cards, maybe that's not the right word, but you know what I mean. If this thing comes up upside down, uh, well, what's the reverse then? Okay, and that's the reverse that they're talking about here. That, uh, that meaning is, uh, reversed, right? The justice card. Okay, justice. Okay, so what do we get when we walk into a courtroom? What do you see on the top of those buildings? Is it a woman? Yes. Is it a man? No. Okay, so the opposite. Sword down, scales up, blind instead of seeing, no crown, uh, not seated. Everything's opposite. And sometimes they'll even change it so that uh, the sword and the scales are in the opposite hands. So it's even more opposite. Uh, they're famous for leaving stuff out. Uh, you, you're supposed to know what it is. If you're learned, you know what, uh, what's been left out. And you can spot the lie, or you can spot the deceptions. But if you're not learned, <laughs> and we're not, uh, so if you walk into this building, are you expecting justice? Because if you are, you're silly, you silly slave. Uh, there's Lady Justice with the sword down, scales up. It's the opposite of justice that you're going to get, my friends. Uh, and they make no bones about it. Look, there you go. See, now completely opposite. It's a woman. It's uh, standing. It's uh, no... Uh, the scales are in the wrong hand, and they're up, and the sword is down, and uh, no crown, and uh, can't see, and, 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 right? Justice is blind. <laughs> no, justice needs to be able to see very clearly in order to make any kind of judgment.
<sighs> and what they try to tell you, the lie that they tell you is that, oh, because um, justice doesn't care if it's a man or a woman or your social status. <sighs> All right. Okay. So are we good there? Do, do we see what's going on? Do you, do you, do you see uh, that maybe you need to understand? Did, did Jesus tell you to know the signs? They tell you to know the signs. Why, yes. Yes, that Jesus told you to know the signs. Um, and he wasn't talking about yield and stop. <laughs> okay. Wake! 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 <sighs> you want justice? All right. Then you need to claim your justice. All right, so let's talk about that for just a moment. Sid Okay, if you know who's writing this and understand who wrote this, this is Wikipedia. Uh, are they telling you the truth? Are they going to tell you the whole truth? And they always leave words off or lines off, right? Sid Okay, Sid Okay, hey slave, Sid Okay. <laughs> Come on, it's funny. I'm sorry, but it is. Um, and understand that uh, you read them forward and backward. So when they leave the words off, it's kind of important when they leave words off. I'm assuming you can read this because I'm going by very, very slowly. If not, pause. Okay, so the idea is that, uh, and even in here, they leave some of the words off. So let's talk about where this comes from. Uh, go read this article for yourself. This is uh, just plain old Wikipedia. Just a regular old Wikipedia post. Um, so let's talk about this. And I'm going to ask you guys that are explaining it, what uh, what word's missing? Because a lot of you guys have gotten to the point where, and you should be, uh, trying to uh, wake your fellows. What, what word is missing? Um, and yes, you are correct. You are absolutely assumed dead at sea, and this trust is unclaimed. So them being magnanimous, <laughs> they take care of it for you. Uh, and see what it was. Do we have the words here? You got to know it. You got to know what all the words mean. What does that word mean? There's your fee. That was a pledge of service. That was a pledge. I'll go to war for you or I'll do some task for you or I'll serve in your army or, or, or. And then in exchange, you give me a piece of land. Um, or the Lord or the person will give you a piece of land. Um, now, what do these words mean and what word is left off most of the time? V is the word that's left off most of the time. Let's see here if I can find it in here. I'm sure it's in here. Uh... Yes, but but no, I want the translation. All right, so like I said, take a good look at this page. Wait, look at me editing. Wow. <sighs> Let's take and put uh, an apostrophe there. Let's split this word uh, so that it's sayest or sayest ui, but uh, basically what they've done is they've stuck all this together. And uh, remember, you can read it backwards. But uh, what does that mean? Say s tu kv. It's it's you that lives. <laughs> you're alive. You're you're not dead at sea. Oh, oh look, say k, say k, slave. No, say s tu kv. It's you that lives. V K uh, two E est, right? <laughs> you got to read them backwards, but uh, you and that's two E is uh, possessive, and then uh, leave out the T, leave out the apostrophe. Um, it's slang. It's dog Latin. It's uh, it's them telling you most of the story here, but basically what you have here is a living trust. That's what this is. Uh, a trust that's made um, for you. And uh, now you gotta know about trust. And oh wait, don't don't believe me. He's just making stuff up. Sure is awfully close, isn't it? I just added a T, put that there. Oh, it's the same, right? It's just life in French. And if you could get the 
uh, ancient Roman, uh, this is slang. This is just slang uh, that they put on there, the trust for your, the, the living trust. You have a trust that, uh, yeah, again, we're above my pay grade here, kids. So <laughs> basically understand what this says or what this is. If you understand, uh, you've gotten so far that you understand that you're dead at, uh, and uh, you know basically you've been pronounced dead. You're a dead thing. You're a corporation that can talk, and uh, I probably need to get into. Yeah, see, but it's not. Ah. Um, but the idea is that uh, understand you're not going to get justice in a court of law. Understand that the whole thing is set up to tax you, to harvest energy from you. Go back and watch The Matrix to harvest um, commercial energy. The whole thing is to, so any time you're in any way, shape, or form involved in commerce or in there, you leave your house and you are subject to plunder. Um, right? A man's, a man's castle, uh, right? His, his house is his castle. Um, so you're supposed to be secure in there. That's kind of uh, enshrined in our Constitution, which you are not a party to, by the way, um, the corporation that is the United States and the corporation that is you um, have been enjoined. You need to know what joinder is and you need to separate that joinder so that you know that uh, the all caps person and your title case name and your surname. Uh, OK, so go. Let's go into the Bible. And uh, because it's all there for you, it's just written in code. Um, Jesus and understand who that guy was and what the point of that story was. It's the greatest story ever told. It really is. And it's written in code. So look up in Genesis 3.22. Is that a number that's uh, important to you? <laughs> or maybe some people you've heard of, some people that consider that number to be important? Anyway, 3.22. And then uh, God, and they remember uh, dominion over ground or uh, G-O-D. Um, Dominion, uh, that's, uh, what is that going to be? That's 126 is what that is. Uh, Genesis 126. Uh, Creepeth, uh, look up what surname means. Um, you got to find this stuff out for yourself because if you just get it dished out to you on a silver platter, it means nothing. So go play, what's the, what was that movie? Um, the Da Vinci Code. Go play Da Vinci Code. Uh, if you like a good detective story, if you like those games where uh, you got to solve the puzzles and so forth, well, this is the great. And then uh, this one has definite benefit for you. <laughs> Make no mistake. Uh, you want to set yourself free. You want to raise yourself from the land of the dead, you and your loved ones, and especially your children, uh, particularly if you have children beneath the age of 18. Uh, you better teach them to know what the words mean. You better teach them that, yeah, Latin is actually the language they want to know. Uh, so is French. So is English. Um, grammar, uh, syntax, all very, very important. Uh, and uh, understand this trust. And understand they always leave words out. Understand they always, I mean, dude, they consider us slaves. Dude, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you guys, they consider us slaves. They consider us dead slaves, corpses that can talk. The zombie movies, the zombie movies aren't for us, they're for them, and we're the zombies. <laughs> oh, it goes on and on. Um, and it makes you sound like a crazy person. Uh, but wait, what happens when the zombies wake up to the fact that they're not dead? Wait, what happens and they raise themselves from the dead? See, in the zombie movies, you never, it's just an infection and everybody becomes dead, right? But uh, no, the idea is to raise yourself from the dead. And uh, there's no, they never put the part in where uh, the Redeemer comes and raises from the dead those who are dead. Uh, but they'll tell you, Sadie Kay, and they'll send you down all kind of rabbit holes. Now, if you understand, oh, and I should probably ask, I'm not going to go there. Like I said, beyond, uh, beyond my pay grade, you go and look and find and seek, and you the doors will always be opened. Always. It's the law. It's the rules. The rules don't change. Um, or the fundamental laws. Understand. Basis. Positive law. And then common fundamental law. And then divine law. Um, and the canon law is as far away from divine law as it gets. That canon was written by men. And oh my God, what they've done. Um, feel bad for them. Feel Have pity for them. Because uh, 
they are under the impression that this is all there is and there, that there isn't really a God. Um, and that they worship the wrong guys and they do the most horrifying and terrifying things to children because they think that they own us. Um, and particularly when you don't know anything about anything. Um, hold on. If you understand uh, this term and you understand the trust that it represents, um, where do you want to be? Do you want to be, so you need to understand. Do you want to be the creator of the trust? Do you want to be the uh, trustee? Or do you want to be the beneficiary? Uh, where are you in that uh, trinity? Father, Son, or Holy Ghost? Which one are you? Now, um, and where do you want where do you want to be in there? Do you understand the story of Adam and Eve and the apple and, and sitting in knowledge? If you eat from the tree of knowledge, you will surely die. Um, you want to be alive. You want to be, you know, see, look, look at the slave using the wrong word. You want to be live. You don't want to be alive. That's no life. You want to be live. You want to be a live person. You want to be living in the here and now. That's what you want to be. You want to be positive. You don't want to be negative. You want to be, uh, Christ consciousness. Now, if you can prove yourself to have Christ consciousness, do they need to govern you? Do, do, are they worried if you have a gun? Are, are they, are you, are they worried about you spending your wealth on, on, the horrifying things? Uh, no, they're not. Uh, so you can govern yourself. Um, but the idea is that uh, the average, they give you all the temptations all the time, and most people submit to the temptations, and then they are subject to judgment. <laughs> and then they get to judge you, and then they get to take your money, and uh, you expect justice, and they're just harvesting from you. So if you see this, uh, just understand what you're in for. Um, is there anything else I want to do? It's, uh, just trying to see how much trouble I can get myself into. Um, and certainly, uh, can this possibly be construed for legal advice? <laughs> uh, most of you are confused and think I'm a crazy person, I hope. Um, but that's it. The fool. Uh, yeah, see, I should talk about that. The fool, uh, be happy, uh, be of good cheer. Uh, good things are coming, but you got to wake up. You have to wake, you have to wake, you have to wake. And by you, I mean you listening to this. Um, the people who don't understand that all roads lead to Rome and that you are, for all intents and purposes, a Roman slave. And they have tricked you, they have trapped you. Uh, they declared you dead at birth with all kind of fun certificates that your mom signed and your dad signed, and then your unclaimed chattel property, and you're assumed to be lost at sea, so they're being kind enough to manage the estate while you're gone uh, until you come back and claim it. And of course, they can't just let all that money sit there. They're going to use it, so they have equity. Uh, you know, because they're supposed to be trustees, and the trustees are, are often naughty. Ask anybody that's ever been, you know, I've known lots of trust babies. And uh, lots of times the trustees can't handle the fact that there's so much money in the trust. Uh, so they figure out how to get to the money so they can use it for themselves. And they call it, you know, they take a fee or they take a percentage and so forth. And they're, you know, they're doing all this for the beneficiary. Um, while the person who created the trust is away. Um, so again, you need to know the trustee, beneficiary, there's different words in different countries. They do it different ways in different countries. In the United States, um, they uh, mix, well, actually what they do is give you an all caps name, which is a corporation, um, and make you think that that's the same thing, uh, like I said, through Joinder, as you, the living person, the living flesh. Um, and then people get half-baked knowledge and they walk into a courtroom and completely make ass, um, which is what slaves do, uh, become a man and understand, or a woman, and understand your status uh, under God, uh, is directly under God. Um, and then comes the Vatican, and then comes uh, the laws and the trusts and so forth, and then this Redeemer came along and told you the story uh, in metaphor, it's written out, uh, clearly like uh, Noah, the time to prepare is when it's not raining guys. 
Okay, so right now it's not raining, so I, I'll, it, but it's about to start. It's the storm is coming. <laughs> it's about to start pouring, and it's gonna get. Uh, there's gonna be a bit of a. There's gonna be a bit of a deluge when uh, people wake up um, to the fact that they've been and their fathers and their fathers before them, generation after generation. This device that you're using right now is waking people up. The awakening is happening. Uh, satanic pedophiles? What satanic pedophiles? Uh, the occult, the hermetic principles, they keep you as ignorant as possible. Um, because if you understand the law, uh, ooh, fear a man who is armed with the law, the pen is mightier than the sword. You've heard all these things, but you have a difficult time putting them together because you don't speak, you can't, you can barely speak, you, you're illiterate, you think and this is the greatest thing. They put the cap on your head when you graduate from college, and you're going to help them keep this artifice in, right? You're one of the builders that's going to help them keep this carefully built ruse in place. Um, but understand, this is, here is a key. This is a key right here, right? Um, huge key. And if you want the key to understanding and the key to unlocking uh, your standing uh, in law, at law, with law, around the law, when it comes to law, then uh, you need to do a lot of reading, a lot of listening, and a lot of understanding that you're not... Uh, you got to know what the words mean, every word, and you're not... Um, the word I want. You're not, uh, so that you're not ignorant and so that you, that you are a man who uh, is not ignorant. Understand when they say, oh, here, here's a simple maxim that I forgot to put in here uh, and I'm late with this. You have to understand what this means. It's as simple as that. Uh, legal title, equity, license, but he who holds legal title cannot hold equity without license. They've, that, this is, this is a maxim. This doesn't mean it's true. This doesn't mean that that's the way, uh, that, that this is fundamental or anything. It just means this is, that's the way it is though right now. And if you're sitting there <clears throat> as the title holder to even say your vehicle, uh, but you're using it, you're driving it, um, you're deporting yourself on the public thoroughfares, uh, with it, uh, you need a license. Otherwise, you need to take this legal title, uh, give it to a trust, put it into a city K, or <laughs> or uh, some other kind of trust that the city K can open, um, because trusts can own trusts, and oh, it gets awfully complicated. And um, if you do, those people that are drawing the triangle need to draw three different triangles on the end of those triangles, because those trusts have trusts. And uh, depends on where you are and what you're doing, where you want to be in that uh, position, in that trinity. But uh, the legal title goes to the trust. Now, he has the legal title, and you can have equity without license. It boils down to this simple concept that you came here with nothing, you're going to leave with nothing. You own nothing while you're here. Um, and they understand that. All the wealthy own nothing. The trusts own them, or own whatever it is. And uh, they get used, though. They get used to it forever. Uh, that's how it works. So you need to understand how that works. You need to understand trust law. And certainly, I'm not going to be able to make a video that's, you know, that's hours and hours of understanding and study. And it should have been taught to you in high school uh, or in college, at least. Or even, you know, because the basic principles can be taught in when you're very young. And then you add more knowledge as the years go by. But the idea is uh, every, you need to know what these words mean, right? There are very few of them here, but you need to know each one of these words and what they mean. Um, and when you have the trust set up and everything, uh, and it takes a little while, it's, there's paperwork that needs to be done. You need to know how to fill out that paperwork properly. Uh, you can't just say, oh, I'm a free man. <laughs> okay, great. It's true that no document can hold the iron of the word. Uh, and, jeez, oh, see, I mean, it just, it gets complicated quick. But uh, at the same time, you need to be able to uh, craft and write, uh, read and write and craft vessels that you can dock 
uh, that can be docketed, that can become documented, uh, that hold your mind, um, uh, that hold the right government. What is meant? What is, I mean, what happens when you uh, put in a testament, right? Uh, you write it down, right? But what is that? That's that you're testifying to what's in your mind. Uh, and then you put it down on paper. Um, and there's a whole very ritualistic and appropriate, well, I don't know if the word's appropriate. What word do I want? So you got to pick your words carefully. Um, a very certain way of going about doing things. Uh, where to sign, how to sign, um, what you put on that document or what you put on the piece of paper, what you put, right? And then understand how to seal it. And then, oh my goodness, right? Envelopes, what they've done. Uh, yeah, okay. So, um, see too much information and not enough information. I don't know where you are on your journey and you don't know where I am on mine. Um, but we have to have common ground before we can talk about these things. These are high things that we speak of here. Um, and the slaves can't uh, barely write or read. You think you can, because you can read this, I'm sure. If you speak English and you've uh, graduated high school, you can at least read this much, but you don't know what the words mean. And you don't understand everything that's behind these simple words, all the documents and so forth. I mean, even just this one word right here and that word right there, what does that mean? And with or without and equity, that doesn't mean what a lot of people think it means. And license, what does that mean? I mean, every damn one of these words, you got to know what it means. Um, and then you have to be able to walk into a court of law or uh, not walk into a court of law, which is probably the smarter thing to do. One more time. If you're expecting justice, <laughs> when this is the symbol they give you, I just feel bad for you when you get right down to it. So try to handle things on the administrative level. Don't walk into a court of law. Don't accept invitations to go into a court of law unless you, and if you can possibly avoid it, avoid it. If you absolutely have to uh, go into a court of law, then deport yourself accordingly and, and uh, understand where you are and what you're doing. Um, and don't make ass out of the rest of us <laughs> while you're in there, if you can possibly avoid it. Just saying. Uh, understand that these people, they have all the force. You've surrendered all of your force. Um, they have the swords and the clubs and the guns in huge number. Uh, the men that are holding most of those guns and swords and clubs are clueless about all of this. They're just slaves just like you that uh, don't know any better, that think that they need to uh, keep the rule of law, <laughs> right? They're no longer peace officers. Um, understand that all law is spoken, right? You Indians uh, and a lot of Polynesians understood the concept that uh, you don't write stuff down because if you write stuff down, people that uh, don't have any right to see it might see it, and especially if they know how to read. Um, so uh, Pythagoras, he never let his, his followers write anything down. Uh, when you go to court, it's a hearing. It's not a reading. You don't go to a reading. You go to a hearing. So you better know what words you're speaking, and you better know what they mean. And you better mean what you say. And you better be able to speak from the heart with education, because ignorance of the law is no excuse. In fact, ignorance is negligence. Um, there's a lot of cute little little things that you'll learn as you're, as you're going down these rabbit holes. Um, but see the, the fun, the fun of this is that when you gain knowledge, uh, it can be used. It's not like playing D and D or, or cause I know guys that know every rule in the, in the dungeon master's manual of, for, I don't know, several different editions cause they're nerds and they play video games and they know all the rules there and they know all the cheat codes and stuff like that. But you talk to them about stuff like this, and they're clueless. And this is just one card, right? How many cards do we get? We get 52. How many cards do they get? 78. Uh, and you don't know what the cards mean. <laughs> and you don't understand. Uh, it's just, there's no, you have no standing. You can't stand against them. And therefore, they bowl you over and take your money. Simple. Or they take your liberty, right? I was growing flowers. Yep, you were growing flowers. And now, guess what? You get to make uh, arms and armaments and weapons. 
for uh, for the for the military. Um, I mean, the system that they have created is simple and beautiful when you get down to it, but it works to their benefit, not ours. Um, so what you want to do is figure out how to get into the catbird seat. You want to get into the place where you uh, understand trusts, you understand contracts, you understand license, you understand what the words mean. Um, oh, one last thing, just in case you don't believe me. Now, many of you will know exactly where this comes from. Um, judge title speaks no law. Notice how it's backwards. Notice how it goes backwards and for justice. Uh, but if you go backwards and you know the code, uh, that is judge title I, I and I. Um, sometimes left out of the alphabet, you know, because uh, A and I are their own words. But no, it's part of the alphabet. But anyway, uh, judge title I and I. Uh, speaks uh, no law. Okay? Um, look how it's broken up. Each word, we don't speak the language that w the way we think we do. We don't understand the words the way they do. Um, and that's because they have learning and they gave us partial learning. Also, do you notice, again, the world is split in two, people. Uh, do you notice the two different sides? Do you notice the... Anyway, lots of symbolism here. Their symbolism is all over the place. By their symbols, I mean, you got to know their symbols. But uh, the point being is that uh, once you start understanding the symbols, and once you start understanding what the words mean, then you can arm yourself with knowledge, and then you can set yourself free. But that's the whole point of the book, that the book that the Christians like, the Bible, uh, sets you free. That Jesus came to set you free. He came to redeem you. He came to bring you back from the land of the dead. Um, and then you inherit the kingdom of heaven. And what do those words mean? And it's all happening. It's happening now. Wake, my friends. Wake, wake, wake. Uh, this is part of the puzzle. And then we can get into others, the others, and so on. But first, know you're standing here on earth. That will be important so that you can join the, uh, the greater family, as it were. Okay, uh, geez, have I gone far enough? I think I have, half an hour and more. And uh, I could go on for another half hour uh, talking about the history and uh, the Romans. And uh, just understand, the f some of those Romans were not quite so evil. They were just lazy, <laughs> really. But see, sloth is one of the seven deadly sins, but really, really lazy to the point where they figured out how to enslave the masses and not let them know they were slaves. That was the best way to do it. Make them think they're free. Make a, give them liberty. Give them, you know, limited liberty. Uh, give them civil liberties, right? Uh, don't give them actual liberty. Don't give them fundamental law. Give them uh, the illusion of freedom, the illusion of participation while they're being governed and ruled and, and harvested on a consistent basis. And then these naughty, naughty ones, uh, evil to the core, vile to the point where I have no English words for how vile these people are, um, corrupted this system even further. And uh, they'll take your kids and eat them. They'll, take the, they'll drink the blood, the adrenochrome. They'll drink that. And see, that's crazy talk to the average person. There's nobody out there because because you'd never do it. You'd never do it, right? And they got you afraid of going to hell. You'd never kill a baby. Have you ever? I mean, you wouldn't do it. And those of you that have, uh, because you don't want your baby to grow up poor, um, ask for forgiveness because you did it out of ignorance. Uh, but don't become arrogant about it. Um, but see, that's what they've done. They've taken these people's goodness and turned it against them. To where you know they become holier than thou but the idea is uh you ain't free <laughs> you can't even read you can you don't barely know that the, what the words mean when you do read um so you need to figure out how to set yourselves free people that's that's the game we're playing here that's part of the game we're playing um so you know be of good cheer and and absolutely be happy uh be curious trade your uh, arrogance or your, uh, what did Rumi say? Oh, let me see, I gotta look that up. He said, trade your cleverness for bewilderment.
So uh, stay bewildered, my friends. <laughs> but at the same time, don't be overwhelmed. Uh, be of good cheer. Uh, be happy. Uh, stay curious. Uh, eat pluribus unum because together we beat this thing. Um, and understand that you need education, 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 right? I always say educate self, educate others. So um, this is a long, winding road that has many pitfalls. And before you act, before you do anything, uh, because a lot of people get this knowledge and they, they apparently uh, run off half-cocked, as, as uh, we slaves like to say in the vernacular, uh, and then they wind up in jail, or then they wind up in all manner of trouble. So understand uh, what works and what doesn't work. Uh, don't do this in a vacuum. Find others that know what the hell's going on. Learn from them. Uh, see people that have succeeded. But you know what's also very important? Uh, to see people who have failed. See people who have made mistakes. Um, here's, uh, just on a personal story, beefing with the IRS, as we like to say in Hawaii, beefing. Uh, I learned all kind of things, and mostly I learned from people that uh, failed and that were either in jail or had made a mistake and so forth. And a couple of those guys in jail sat around and figured out where they went wrong and then uh, wrote books about it. Um, so, you know, you learn from these mistakes. Now, here's the thing. You only learn from mistakes, but they don't have to be your mistakes. I tell this to my sons all the time. Uh, you don't have to learn from your own mistakes, you can learn from other people's mistakes. And see, they can write those mistakes down in these things called books. And uh, yeah, here's a little part that'll offend and annoy uh, many of you. Uh, you want to hide knowledge from a nigger. You want to hide knowledge from the slave. You want to hide, hide knowledge from the most vile and low. Put that knowledge in a book and put the book in a library. That's all you got to do. Um... I heard that over and over again, and it used to annoy me, but now I get it. Yes, uh, it's all right there in front of you. They don't hide anything from you, nothing. Uh, the truth is out in plain sight everywhere. You just don't know what you're looking at. Uh, you don't know what the words mean. You don't know what the symbols mean. You don't know what the signs mean. Uh, you have been admonished to, uh, and see, you, don't, you can't even follow the admonishments because you, don't, you think it means one thing when actually it means another. Right? But go back and read your Bible with new eyes. Right? Everybody wants to throw that book out, with, baby you out with the bathwater. They want you to be atheist. They want you to never pick that book up. They never want you to look at the, the, the tarot cards. Oh, that's the occult. They never want you to know about hermetic principles. They never want you to know anything so they can keep you utterly and completely enslaved, so they can tax you, so they can take your money, so they can take your children, so they can take your life without even having to worry about restitution. How do these cops get away with killing people like that when we have them on video in cold blood. Well, because you're already dead. How can they kill a dead thing? Right? Basically, you're a corpse that can talk. That's not a joke. The cops don't know that, by the way. Most cops don't know this. Uh, many of the judges do, though I assure you. Many of the lawyers do, I assure you. Um, oh, they know about commercial. They know about... Uh, you ask the simple question when you're stopped. Um, was I invade, was I involved in commerce at the time of the stop? Ask the judge, was I involved in commerce at the time of the stop? Now that's not going to save you from anything because uh, if you are the title holder and you are using the thing that's in title, uh, the car in this case, uh, you know, you, you need a license uh, because equity, you require a license for some forms of equity. Now this is the thing. You can, uh, Anyway, we're going to get in trouble again, so we'll end here. But the idea is to trade your cleverness for bewilderment and understand that maybe not everything is the way you think it is. And maybe the words don't mean what you think they mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out you don't know what any of them mean, or barely any of them. Uh, and you certainly don't understand the concept of reading backwards. Find out about dog Latin. Find out about uh, ancient Latin. Uh, what's the what's the uh, language of the Vatican? Uh, like I said, all roads lead to Rome. Uh, we've got <laughs> see, <laughs> all roads lead to Rome. Uh, there's three of them: uh, the Vatican, the City of London. All the symbols are there, and Washington D.C. And from these three places, they have basically subjugated the world. And uh, I live in the country right now 
that uh, they use most they use our military to subjugate others, and it needs to come to an end. And not only that, to harvest children, and oh my goodness, um, the, the, the heinous and horrifying things these people do uh, needs to stop. And the only way it stops is when you waken, waken your friends, waken yourself, learn your standing, learn who you are, l learn to read. Damn it. Um, understand the, the traffic and things that they do, the commerce that they're involved in, either above board or below board, depending on how you look at it, uh, and help put an end to it. And you know how you put an end to it? It starts with you, right? My grandma told me on more than one occasion, the best thing you can do for the poor is not become one of them, right? <laughs> so you, because now, if, uh, if you're poor, it takes others to help you. You want to be in a situation where you help others. Just like you want to be, uh, and I'll end with this. Um, it was a great, there used to be great stories I used to hear about when we were, when I was working in the securities industry. Um, you want to be the one that buys the coffee for the meeting. You want to be the one that brings the donuts and the coffee. You don't want to be the poor guy that can't afford to bring coffee and donuts to a fucking meeting, right? You want to be the one that can bring the, the coffee and donuts, right? <laughs> That's you. That's who you want to be. So in that pyramid, in that trinity, do you want to be the creator, the trustee, or the beneficiary? Okay. Um, understand. Ugh, I'll end right there. All right, Crime Stoppers. Educate self. Educate others. Spread the word. I will put crap tons of links underneath this video. And uh, you begin to learn for yourself and understand that the proof is in the pudding. Um results, results, results. If it sounds crazy and it gets you in jail, then yeah, it was crazy and it puts you in prison. But if it sounds crazy and you see many others doing it and they are uh, walking free men, uh, then you know perhaps uh, you're on the right track. In my, for my, for in my, the last time I was in court, they kicked me out for 20 bucks. That's when I knew I was on something. Um, uh, when the IRS refused to give me audits, that's when I knew I was, when they started stonewalling me and refused to respond, that's when I knew I was, I wasn't right. Um, cause I have fought to a draw. I did not win. And, uh, I had been tricked into thinking that, oh, fighting them to a draw is as good as you can do. Um, but no, you can, if you are armed with the law and you are a man, uh, living in the now who is positive and not negative and not going to use your knowledge to harm, uh, others, uh, you can quote unquote win. <laughs> win. What does that mean? Anyway, e pluribus unum crime stoppers. I've gone on for way too long. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.